Hello, good afternoon. It's a deal for Zal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the um, European markets for Wednesday's uh, end of day uh, trading session, the 28th of September 2016. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, market wrap up, then, the uh, Interesting session, let's say the least. Uh, okay, certainly with Mr. Draghi and Yellen, uh, certainly closing. Let's look at the actual uh, end of uh, day uh, data. You have the FTSE up 0.6%, uh, the DAX up 0.7%, the CAC up 0.77%. So European markets overall higher. Now, how did the uh, day's events unfold? That's the question you need to ask yourself. First of all, uh, we had the Asian markets down overnight, so therefore obviously a risk-off session. Uh, U.S. markets certainly uh, bearish, uh, looking well, certainly looking bearish, given the fact that they were into that uh, gap fill zone. Nasdaq as well into that key resistance zone. I mean, this is the uh, current trade that I'm in at present. I'm currently short the Nasdaq. Uh, currently short the Nasdaq with a stop loss of 48.90, looking for downside on this H&S formation. So, so a formation like this obviously is, is indicated or is indicating bearish price action. Um, with bearish price action, you are looking for a move lower, okay, on the uh, the actual market itself. So, again, looking bearish and uh, looking for downside price action, and therefore, if the Nasdaq is bearish, then generally speaking, every, every other market in the globe generally tends to be bearish, okay. So, now we've also had um, comments. I mean, let me just give you the new version of events first of all. Sorry. Uh, OPEC meeting, OPEC meeting, market short squeezing, oil moving higher, etc., etc. Then there's a counter statement, then there's a pro statement, then there's a counter statement. It's just ridiculous, okay? Same thing with Deutsche Bank. Oh, there's a bailout, Zeit article, um, Zeit or organization, or whether it's a newspaper, basically, uh, stating that uh, the uh, German government will take a 25% stake in Deutsche Bank, etc., etc., etc. Market short squeeze, push to highs. All of a sudden, that's denied. German finance minister states that they have no... Uh, no indication, no intention, okay, of, of doing such a such an act, and therefore the market start to reverse in the opposite direction. It's just insanity, okay. I think the latest thing from OPEC at the moment these are absolute clowns, and there's a mockery on Twitter now. You can't look inside the box until November. Apparently, there's a uh, a meeting, but they can't really reveal the details until November. So what they're trying to do technically is keep the markets higher, verbally, okay, as opposed to obviously uh, physically so certainly seems to be no agreement okay so we're currently in september so we have to wait two more months now for a potential deal and god knows what will happen until then so again it's not exactly bullish news it's certainly uh, bearish although oil prices certainly seem to have a uh, short squeeze on that news from 44 to 45 it's just been gyrating all day same thing with european equities gyrating all day okay on the back of this so-called false or may whether it was made up intentionally to trigger a short squeeze etc etc i mean it really is comical okay really is comical and then we had uh, miss yellen apparently being grilled and she was humiliated i mean she apparently there's a um, the fed member elena brainard apparently um, this individual uh, has affiliations and links with the uh, the clinton administration okay and um, apparently she wants to uh, even apply for a position within that government and therefore she was asked whether or not uh, uh, the the Fed is political, given the fact that Mr. Trump obviously mentioned that uh, the the Fed is, uh, is 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 siding on the uh, is helping the uh, the actual uh, U.S. election, i.e., helping Obama so and helping Hillary. So this is quite interesting. So the Fed really is vulnerable now. The focus is on the Fed, and the focus is on their potential decision going forward. And Miss Yellen, if I uh, look up look back at her comments, was overall. Uh, hawkish draggy overall hawkish so for my understanding it certainly is net net negative for equities okay so that certainly seems to be a situation at present now let's just bring up the dollar index whilst we're here before i move forward and look at the technicals dollar index certainly is uh, trading sideways no real direction here 60 minute chart dollar index certainly holding that resistance level looking to potentially break out Okay, if you see a breakout there, then you are going to see a sell-off in equities. So looking for a breakout. So basically what's happened today, the conclusion is that Deutsche Bank is not going to get bailed out. Okay, therefore bias remains bearish given the fact that Deutsche Bank remains vulnerable. And the situation with regards to 
to oil OPEC certainly have uh, have well, they, they claim they have an agreement okay uh, so again they claim to have an agreement but nothing's going to be revealed until November so really both things have failed They've, we have no real fundamental tangible catalyst that will send this market higher at present okay so let's look at the technical picture now let me just see economic data wise have I missed anything at all uh, crude oil stocks yeah we had a, a downside movement in crude oil stocks change Mr. Draghi again like I said was, was tilting towards a neutral stock hawky side durable goods data certainly came in stronger as well overall so it certainly is um, it's tricky all I can say is that the Nasdaq is uh, certainly displaying a HNS formation and therefore you are looking to potentially move lower okay also emerging markets remain weak as well so let's look at the technical side of things now daily chart of the German DAX let's just bring this up folks okay so bear in mind that uh, you can clearly see the topping tail there on the back of that potential false rumor of uh, Deutsche Bank obviously uh, receiving a bailout and then obviously it was negated and denied hence the topping tail okay Sixty minute chart of uh, the German DAX. Obviously, we've gapped higher. We created or attempted to create this potential bull flag on the back of this uh, news regarding Deutsche Bank. That certainly hasn't materialized, hasn't come to fruition. Now you're looking to potentially close a gap below because the whole rally itself was based on a false premise. Ten minute chart. You certainly have lower highs, and again, like I said, the unveiled gap below certainly remains vulnerable, especially with the HNS on the Nasdaq. Okay. Okay, right, the French CAC now. Let's bring up the French CAC for you, folks. Okay, those of you trading French CAC, very similar to the DAX. Again, looking at lower highs and looking for a gap fill below. FTSE 100. Okay, FTSE really is supported from a fundamental perspective because Mr. BOE Shafiq, or should we say Mrs. BOE Shafiq, basically stated that... Uh, that the uh, BOE would remain dovish, well, from my own interpretation anyway, uh, the BOE would uh, certainly uh, would not hesitate or be more than happy to uh, do actually uh, increase the QE, okay? So she was basically very dovish, okay? And again, that certainly helps equity markets move higher, and that's exactly what we did witness until the market started to sell off. Again, the market has been pushing higher due to the uh, hopium trade with regards to OPEC and that, as I stated, has not materialized. Okay, so very important to understand that. Okay. Let's look at the uh, FTSE here now. So daily chart, the FTSE 100. Again, it's, uh, it's all about holding resistance, that double top horizontal resistance at 6910. Uh, we bounced off the support at 6780. Okay, uh, top resistance at 6.7870, so again, remains bearish on the daily chart. 60-minute chart, you obviously have this bearish continuation pattern now, so therefore looking for further downside on the FTSE 100. If we do push lower, then you are looking at the next support at the uh, uh, 6.7880, 6.7770 zone. That's a level that you'll test. FTSE, like I said, was supported by OPEC or the Hopium that we would get a deal today, and that certainly hasn't come and materialized. And also Mr. Shafiq's or a dovish uh, comments. Okay. 10 minute chart of the FTSE. Again, you are in support at 6840. Once that cracks, the next level below is gap fill at 6800. Especially with the HS on the uh, NASDAQ, you are looking for lower prices. Okay, very important to understand and grasp that. Okay, the Euro stocks. Let's look at the euro stocks here again. Let's start with the daily chart. Uh, topping tail failed really to uh, maintain the gains throughout the day, generally a bearish signal. 60 minute chart, you are trying to uh, consolidate here for a uh, bull flag. Well, like I said, if uh, the rest of the markets are indicating the opposite direction, especially with the HS formation NASDAQ, it's very hard for that, to, to, that certainly trade to, to uh, play out. 10 minute chart again you've got lower highs you held resistance at 305 and 3010 and therefore looking for a move lower to close the gap at 2970 because European markets certainly remain uh, more vulnerable okay right I think that's a market wrap be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of that bonus goodbye